everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we are back wrapping things up at CRS with Joe and Martina. How are you guys? Hey, we're we, doing great. We're great. Hi. Yeah. How are you, Joe? I'm awesome. <laughs> you guys are awesome, and you had a busy morning this morning. Tell everybody what you got to do. I'm so excited. Uh, we were on WSM this morning with John Barry, and we were on the show uh, with Bill Cody, which is a... Uh, Country, or no, coffee, country, country and Cody. Country. Too many C's to remember, but uh, <laughs> the three C's. <laughs> yeah, but it was. We had a great time. It was awesome. Yeah, it was really cool to sit in the studio and we got to hear our song uh, that we did with John being yeah. played for the first time on radio anywhere. Right, and uh, Isn't that exciting. It was really cool. Now, did John tell you the story about finding out his name was in the song? Yeah. Yeah, he told us the other day. We had no idea. Yeah. Wait, how did you know? Because I interviewed John yesterday, and we talked <laughs> about you. I love that. Yeah, we found out yesterday, yesterday morning, right? Yeah. No, it was. It or, was I don't no, know. The, yeah. Day before. Yeah, day before, something like that. We found, but yeah, we found out um, that he was driving to our house to record. And yeah, I had no idea. He was like, wait, that's my name. And we're like, yeah. what do you mean you didn't know? So it was really cool to to hear that he loved the song so much, mm -hmm. didn't even realize he was a part of it already yeah. and asked and was honored to be on it. And it was it was really cool. You, that's you so should have seen him talking about it yesterday during our interview. Oh. It was so sweet. He had so much fun with you guys. And the fact that you wanted him to be on that song, yeah. I think meant the world to him. You know, and that's crazy because, you know, that's he's part of the foundation that kids like us get to you know <laughs> chase our dreams with yeah. he's the he's he's the one that that paved the way for artists like us and i think yeah. that's so cool that we're able to uh to hang out with them still you know right absolutely and that's that's a pretty big bucket list thing to have happened so i gotta know what's your next goal like what's the oh, next gosh. bucket list thing all right joe happen? Uh, maybe, World domination. Maybe a big old <laughs> "Give Me Back the '90s" tour would be awesome. Oh, I don't know. Look at Th that. That would be cool. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. I would buy the T-shirt and bling it up. You know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> She's wearing a John Barry bling. I am. I know. Did you bling that yourself? So I have a friend that does it. Uh, she has a company, Starstruck Vintage. She's incredible. Okay, so she takes. She I already. Give, I give her the shirt. She can find the shirt for you, and she just. You give her kind of a price range or what you're thinking, and it can go full on or just the name or, yeah, so she had fun with this one. I mean, that's pretty hot. And everyone's like, well, why don't you do it yourself? You're kind of crafty, Martina. I'm like, yeah, my rhinestones would fall off in the wash. These things, no, it's you know, sorcery. I don't know what she does with them. There's a trick to it, and I, <laughs> I know what that trick is, and I'm not going to tell everybody because I don't want to put her out of business, right. but I know that trick. Yeah. There is. It's and a, and mm -hmm. I have, I've had many a shirt blinging party. There you yeah. go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Fun. It can be kind of frustrating, though. It really can. That's you why have I'm like, to have you patience. know, I got enough going on. I, I <laughs> support small businesses and I yes, yes. Well, one of the hardest blinging things I ever did was sunglasses I wanted the just oh, the whole, yeah, everything yeah. oh that one was challenging <laughs> yeah it was, I, those slippery little suckers uh, I'm telling you yeah. it was great no thanks <laughs> great. we'll leave it to Shane yeah. right but what, what are you guys working on now I mean that song is huge we just had you on the 615 you yeah. did the radio thing it's it's kind of hard to imagine what you're gonna do next after this but I know whatever it is it's gonna be great it's, it's going to be, we're going to continue to build this up. Um, it actually hasn't even, it's going to come out to the public tomorrow. Right. Which yeah. is awesome. So that's a whole exciting thing. And we're, we're going to continue to push it to radio. Mm -hmm. It's only been out accessible to radio for about a week. Okay. And our ad date is still not for another month. So, you right. know, there's going to be a lot of radio tour stuff and, and, and are you ready for those early mornings oh yeah <laughs> oh Mar yeah, yeah. Made a statement this morning she goes I only get up for two this early for two things horses and and country music yeah, so gotta yeah. feed the horses and and only for country music I'm not very I'm not a morning person very much but I'll do it for those two things <laughs> That's pretty sorry awesome. Joe no, not even you <laughs> yeah, yeah. but yeah so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push that for a while and we're also um, we're we're putting together some some ideas for uh, for maybe an EP or, or something later in the year where we package a couple songs together and, and make it a thing. So. I'm thinking a music video too for this single. I think that that definitely be looking for. You know, we love 
I love making a music video with this guy, obviously, because we're husband and wife and we get to, yes. you know, have that forever kind of thing. But <laughs> this moment with John Barry and we've asked and kind of thrown the, you know, yeah. pebble out there and see if planting those seeds, see if it'll happen. And I think you never that would be know. great for fans. So you stay never. tuned. And, and you know what? He's feeling so good and he, so uh, much he's better. So and he's just God is he, good. he's gaining so much more momentum now. Mm -hmm. So I really feel like he might take you up on a few dates. I know. You know, maybe. I, know. I, I really hope so. There's, you're hearing it first. There's there's a lot of movement happening, and, and I'm excited. So in other words, what we're telling fans is you've <laughs> got to stay tuned to them on social media and their website to find out more info, right? Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's all up in the air. But, That's right. But I think if there's interest from the public, and yes. I, I think it could happen. I, I don't see why not. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun. Why not? And that's been kind of the overall theme anyway this week with all of our interviews, the whole Give Me Back the 90s. Oh, yeah. Like that has been an overall theme with all of these interviews. And I think that so many fans are craving it and they just want to yeah. hear more of it. And they're younger and younger and younger. And I think it's because their parents listen to it. Uh-huh. Yeah, absolutely. So they know what it is and they can't find it anywhere. And they're, so they're searching for it. Yeah, so. absolutely. And I think that in general, you know, music is always about like as far as being on the creative side you're always going to be doing a version of what your influences yes. did yeah. and i think for a long time there's a lot of acts that are getting um really big airplay and stuff that were influenced by you know country as well as like hip-hop and 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 mainstream pop yeah and i think right now there's just this resurgence of artists that were super inspired by 90s country yes Guy, uh, you know guys and girls like martina and i and and people like luke combs and uh yep. and people like cody johnson you know all these people that are like tapping into that that 90s country influence and i'm glad to see the music industry embracing it like absolutely yeah. i think it's really cool so all these different things are intersecting and i think it's going to make this huge um real country resurgence happen yeah. And uh, 2020 is going to be a good year for, for country music. I'm excited about yeah. it. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Absolutely. I really feel it is, too. So everybody at home, you guys got to check these guys out. Tell them where to find you again. So the best way to find us is our website, joeandmartina.com. It's got all of our tour dates and also merchandise, music, videos, and all of our social media handles. It's just Joe and Martina. So come join the journey. It's fun. A husband and wife in a van together, 15 hours. <laughs> Great content. And we have three really cute dogs. The cutest. The, I mean, like, the I'm cutest. Maybe slightly biased, but the cutest dogs ever. See, that's They're adorable. The common theme has been the dogs this week. It's oh, really? It's been fantastic. <laughs> so everybody at home, hashtag join the journey. You got to yeah, follow right. these guys. They are amazing. Until next time, we'll see you soon.